Hello lovely people, today is a lovely lovely sunny day Today is my last day of work, tomorrow in the morning I'm going to work and I cannot be the whole week with no music so I decided because I disconnected that DSP amp from the front and I have all the wires running to the back where they originally were so I needed some kind of music and the most important part I want to test the response of the tweeters and the mid-ranges so what I decided to do uh, because I'm not gonna start with the boot yet next week obviously and what I did I just put this one in so I utilized the existing wiring so from this fuse block I had like wires running to the DSP which was here so I just jacked these three wires which is uh, positive ground and the remote and funny thing is like the remote is fused the main power wire that goes so it is fused on the battery then it comes here it's fused again then it goes here and fused by the DSP. So this DSP has three fuses. Eh, why not? These wires were convenient enough for me. So tweeter, tweeter, mid-range, mid-range. And I have four channels on this amp as well. So I'm connected just very janky way with these blocks. Tweeter, tweeter, mid-range, mid-range. So I have four channels of amplification and I'm going to be running the whole week with only four channels. So now I'll have to bounce i won't be able to uh, measure it now but i want to measure it this evening and present you with the actual new responses and this is going to be just for a week so i'm just gonna tape it a bit so it wouldn't like rattle uh, double-sided sticky tape for this one and this is going to be my setup just for the week and yeah i'm gonna measure the front in the evening and then we're gonna jump into rew and see what we have Fast forward like six hours or so. Now it's like close to 11, not 11, 10, 20. Anyway, I have the results. And uh, the main thing that I want to compare is the tweeters between the status tweeters and SB29 that I had before. And the mid range, uh, the angled that I have now versus non angled and versus the Satori. So let's have a look at the tweeters. These are the SB29s, left and right. And with these, I had an amazing response. They uh, Basically, they needed extremely little EQ and there was no issues, no nothing. Everything was spot on and the extension was all the way to 20K. They were very, very on axis. However, with the status, I have left and I have right. So the good thing is the response is extremely similar. It's just like few dB in level difference. The kind of bad thing is that I have something happening at 2.2K and I know that this is the tweeter and not the location because when I was doing the distortion measurements and checking the near field response, I have ex exactly the same dip in this area. And I think it has to do something with the actual tweeter. So it's going to be either the, because it's a ring radiator with a face plug. So I imagine, and I might be wrong, that it has to do something with a face plug. And I will need to actually listen to this because I didn't have time to listen. I will need to listen to this if it's a really audible problem or it's just the RTA uh, pick something like that. I do have exactly the same on the status mid base drivers and I don't remember if I have it on the mid range but on the mid base we have exactly the same dip at I don't remember the exact frequency. So the extension is up to 13 14k close to 14k and now this uh, it might be I didn't measure them all like near field at the moment. So this could be aiming, it could be because of the tweet itself that it doesn't play really high. However, the status advertises that it's like high res up to 40K and whatever. So I don't know. Or the other thing, it could be because I was playing through Bluetooth. 
so bluetooth might be uh hindering the very very top end so i'm not like very concerned about this at the moment uh however this uh is not that nice but this is again this is twitter so if we compare left twitter status with sb29 uh, I do believe these SB29s were crossed at about 2K. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure because it was a long time ago and these status were crossed at 1K. So with some EQ, you can actually work with it. You can do like a steep slope, so it's not a problem. However, I'm not sure again if it's Bluetooth or non Bluetooth, but with the SB29s, I had um, more top end. However, between like what two and a half and all the way up to 14k it's almost the same almost identical so that's the left side which is the passenger side now the right side is the driver side and we have something very very similar like up to 14 13k exactly the same and a bit more boost here which is kind of i don't know if it's strange but it might be because of different crossovers and again same dip but it is tunable so it's fine so again about the tweeters i will need to do more investigation do some actual listening test about this area and check the near field response and bluetooth for the top end but so far looks good not ideal but good now let's have a look at the mid ranges so i had Let's have a look at Satori. Left, let's start with the left side. So these were the Satori mid-ranges, the five inches that I had playing up the glass. Then I had left, so this is the status drivers in exactly the same location, firing up the glass. And from this, we can see that, uh, I think I did be do believe that I did this comparison before already. Uh, less low end, obviously Satori has a five inch driver, low FS, they play much lower. The mid range, like between 150 all the way up to like 4K is kind of the same, I wanna say, plus minus two dB or so. We have a dip here, which on the Satori was more prominent at about 1.6 and here 1.4. So it is quite a big dip and I have, um, mid targets there we go so it basically was right in the target of what i wanted to play then the status has a cone breakup very very high 18k satori had much lower at 7k but it's not an issue so let's have a look how aiming the drivers change stuff so this is firing up the glass and this one is aimed toward the driver and we can see so these are the, just a crossover point different maybe and this is a biggest difference so the weird thing on the left which is the passenger side i have a bigger dip in this area so orange is aimed so basically i lost however did i lose it or this was just i don't know so it kind of looks a bit worse because I was spec I was expecting that I would be gaining in this area specifically, but I lost a bit more energy. However, I tried very quickly to do a boost at like 1.9K, like plus 5 dB, and it does boost nicely. I got exactly 5 dB plus. So it, it might be a reflection from the glass, but maybe it's not. I don't know. The other good thing is like this dip, which is in the crossover region already because I will be crossing them at like two and a half, three K. So it isn't the crossover region. However, aimed, that dip disappears, it totally disappears. It's just gone. So uh, with the left mid range, I don't want to say it's a failure, but it's not as good as I was expecting. Now, the right mid-range. This is the right Satori, which again, I had this, these two cancellations, I want to say, at 1.3. And again, it was right in the range where I need to cross them, like in the band, band pass. Uh, this right is 
same location firing up the glass just with the status drivers so it's extremely similar and we have this dip so this dip i identified that it's caused by the reflection so let's have a look did it cure it right mid-range a angled and bam this dip disappears it's all flat so for the right side it's a big win it's a much much nicer and smoother response and like with this target i just need to shave like the bottom end down and put a nice crossover and basically this is very very nice without no eq and the left mid it will need slide boost because if i will put the target much lower i will be losing too much so this maybe i'm gonna boost it maybe i'm gonna leave it as it is i'm not sure it again i just need to, i will need to listen to it but apart from this little area everything else looks very very nice so i did a very quick tune i can show you that because uh, i need to like listen to this so left tweet uh, where is it left tweet uh, crossover i crossed it and left tweet uh, eq so just a tiny bit remove this top end and where's my twitter target something like that i didn't aim for perfection i i aimed like plus minus three db in the target and because i want i was using a phone to enter the eq so i ended up with maybe like four eq bands so it's nothing really nice but it does the job and right tweeter right tweeter crossover and right tweeter eq just like that again with some smoothing and everything and we have left and right tweeter after eq they match very very nice and again these two dips uh, in the middle of the crossover region so probably not going to be very audible but i will be checking this as well especially if, if i will want to cross it a bit lower now they crossed at 3k but there is some but the rest of the top end is very very nice all the way up to what, 14k 14 14 and a half almost 15k yeah I will check this top end. Maybe it's just Bluetooth. So this is Twitter, Twitter. Then let's have a look at the mid ranges. So left mid, left mid with a crossover and left mid with EQ. So I just, again, boosted this area for, for the time being and removed these two mountains. So that's left, then right mid range right mid-range crossover and right mid-range eq and yeah again this needed just shaving off from the top part i could do this with a different crossover but at at the moment i crossed them at 250 with a 12 db slope and 3k with 3k with 18 db slope i think and the tweeters were 24 db 3k so there's this and then we have both mid ranges i did like basic time alignment like by uh literally literally by ear both tweeters and both of them playing together there's a little peak here but it's fine and i ended up with something like this so i will be uh driving with this yeah you can see it follows like uh, 180 hertz acoustical slope so i will be driving with this for a week until next week but so far if i apply some like one third just to have a look you know it's it's just for time just to have something playing at least down to 200 hertz just to have a listen to the mid-range and to the tweeter so um i'm not disappointed at all i'm happy just because like i'm happy with how it looks like and i'm happy that it's actually finally done and everything and i do believe that the tweeter issues are going to be the actual tweeter problems and not installation and not uh aiming or anything 
because location is kind of almost the same like the SB29. It's just the actual driver. And I did uh, speculate that these tweeters are going to be like almost a bottleneck in my system. But again, I will need to decide how it is, how it sounds because I didn't listen at all. It just literally three songs, three minutes because it's, it's late. Uh, tomorrow we need to go to work and I will be listening to the system for the whole week. And then I'm going to see how it is. But yeah, uh, this was a quick update on the measurements. And yeah, we'll see you next week. See ya.